Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to review reports on QuickBooks Online. This could be reports such as a profit and loss report, a balance sheet, perhaps an aged debtors or aged creditors report. There are a number of reports on QuickBooks. They're very easy to bring up. But remember, they're only as accurate as the information put on to QuickBooks Online. Please ensure that the data is accurate and that you've reconciled the accounts. The report should then be a true reflection of what's happening in the business. Down at the bottom here, we have reports. You'll then have recommended reports. These are the most run reports, things like the balance sheet, monthly cash flow. This is your age debtors. A slash R, we have a profit and loss. We have an aged creditors, which is A slash P, a company snapshot. But if you go to the top here and use the all reports header, if you click on that on this ribbon, you'll then have a number of subcategories here. Let's do review sales. You'll see there are all these reports for sales. If I go back, accounts receivables, so the sales ledger, aged, debtors, you'll see that all these reports here for the age debtors list. If I go back to recommended, let's just run an age debtors. If I click on that, you'll see I have my one customer that owes 120. There's not much showing on this age debtors list because I haven't put much into QuickBooks. But hopefully, if you have, the list will be a lot more substantial. You can change the date of the report at the top here. And it's the same with all these reports. If I go to the profit and loss, you can change the dates at the top here. You can do this financial year to date. You can do custom dates, whatever you want. Just make sure you click run report after changing the dates. And then the report will show the period chosen. So I have sales here, I have my expenses, and then the net income at the bottom here. Something that I do like about the reports on QuickBooks Online is any total that shows on a report you can click on and it will show you a breakdown of what that figure consists of, how you got to that total. So I clicked on sales, you can see the invoices that I raised and the credit note. If I go back to another report, let's do the age debtors report again. We have this balance with this in counting. If I click on that, it shows the actual invoice that that total is made up of. So they're very interactive sort of reports, which I really like. And you have the option to print reports off or to download them or to save them, to email them, whatever you want to do. The report system's great with QuickBooks Online. But just like I've said a couple of times in this tutorial, the best thing to do is just play around with the reports. It's not worth me going through each individual report with you. So just spend some time going through each report. You can create a free trial account like I have with QuickBooks Online. It's really simple to do. It's very straightforward. There's no cost involved. So it's worth creating a trial account and just giving this a go.